ladies and gentlemen, good day, it's Pleasure from Oz. And welcome back to Man in the Four Twenty Three. We are taking on the Carolina Panthers, who are still a chance for the playoffs. But the Detroit head to Bank of America Stadium. Can't believe the Rams got crushed. Let's see, trench boost. Let's look at that first. Detroit make hoping to make it fifteen and zero. So Detroit, the team they've shut out both New York, New York, New York, both the New York Giants and the New York Jets, and both of those games were at MetLife Stadium. But Carolina's defense seems to be good. So yeah. My favorite part of the video, editing the uniforms. Both teams will have their home option, can you believe it? <coughs> Hopefully those colors don't clash. This will be interesting. We're getting ready. Detroit are hoping to make it 15 0 when they take on the Carolina Panthers in another wet weather game. Welcome to Fox NFL Sunday. Oh, I don't know if it's on Sunday. Yeah, it is, in a way. Robert Fox NFL Sunday, Christmas Day. We do this Christmas Eve. <coughs> With the Carolina Panthers hoping to keep this season alive. They're 6 and 8, taking on the under three Detroit Lions at 14 and 0. <coughs> now, in real life, in that game, I think Carolina beat Detroit comfortably. Now, end of their season. So yeah, Carolina are in the black and bluish, and Detroit are in the blue. So I hope these colors don't clash with each other. This is going to be a great game, despite the Panthers being 6-8. Two wins away from doing something. No, it's three wins. So... The Lions have won the toss of Lexus to receive first. Meanwhile, Jacksonville upset the New York Jets again, 27-21. So another loss at home to the um for the New York Jets. So Jets are fading. So it's a touchback. So now back-to-back wet weather games for the Detroit Lions. So the Panthers have a good defense, apparently. And they go down. And that's probably why they've got a good defense. Could this be the game that they lose, the Lions? I've said this quite a few times lately. Let's see. Kansas City should crush Seattle. Andre Swift tries to get more, a bit better, but still firm three. So the Panthers are chaining defense. If I don't get this first down, I have to punt it already. It's hard to tell which way the wind's going. So back to back rainy games for the Detroit Lions and are on the road as well. So they might be a bit tired. They're not tired. Oh, well, this is close. Almost got the first down. Fourth and one. Cut. 
They are going for it. On fourth down. And he keeps it. So the Lions get a fresh set of downs. So now I can just take your time. Be patient with everyone. It's swift. Great yardage. 14 yards in that play alone. Well done. Very impressive. On the logo. At the 50 yard line. At the neutral zone. Right on the center of the field. They kicked the Jets' asses, but they didn't rub it in. They just celebrated with the team. They didn't celebrate in front of their own crowd. So that would have just pissed them off. So I don't know if they're going to do the same thing for the Panthers. A right, couple yards on that play. Just taking their time. Swift gets close, third three. The game in five. There's an upsell low as well. Seattle get a touchdown at the point after. Yeah, Arrowhead Stadium. So just have three minutes to go in the first quarter of this game. Oh, this is close! Another fourth and one. For the quarterback sneak. He's got to play it smart. It was close and again narrowly gets the first down for the second time this quarter. It's twice. It's twice they've done it. Cleveland lead in um they lead New Orleans 7 0. Fresh showdown. Seven two minutes to go the first quarter. It's Christmas Eve showdown. No, it's Christmas Day, I think it is. Oh no, it's Christmas Eve. The Swift gets great yardage as well. 15 yards this time. 47 yards from the day. 8 rushes. Look at that. That is beautiful. That's beautifully done. And the move on that run is really good. Houston lead Tennessee 3 to nothing in Nashville. One thing to go the first. Oh, he goes down and barely goes to the yard. There's another upset alert. The Giants lead Minnesota 7 0. So they should get a field goal of this if they don't get the first down on their next two tries. We'd love to have a white Christmas. I don't get the first down, but a few more yards should be a bit more respectable. Oh, hang on. Doesn't like Carolina get a good position if Detroit pulled this off. Uh, that's it. And then the first, neither team can score in the rain. Second game in the row that involves the Detroit Lions. Welcome back to Fox NFL. It's the Lions, it's Lions ball at the Carolina 20 yard line. Neither team have scored so far. It's wet weather football. I can't remember what name of the stadium it is. Keep it on the ground, they, he doesn't get the first down, 4 for 3. Now, is Goff going to go again? 
This is going to be interesting. Will Goff go again? Now they got it in past two drives. It's the same drive. Um, let's see. And it looks like Goff's not going to go for it. He doesn't feel lucky, so... He's taking the points in the driving lane, and the Lions get the first points of the game. Points are a must on the opening drive. Scores are leveled in Minneapolis. So it's their first pun in the game. So Detroit do get some points. They don't make it to the end zone, but they do get some points out of it. And it looks like it's a great return for the Carolina Panthers at the 30-yard line. Let's see what the Panthers could do. Oh, this is interesting. Good pressure. Complete pass on first down. Let's see. In Charlotte. Bank of America Stadium, it's called. Oh, it's a flag for Ruffin the Passer. They're calling on the Detroit defense. It's Ruffin the Passer. They knew it. I can hear the crowd cheering. So important yards lost for Detroit. The clock continues to run. Got a catch for the number two by Moore. Second and two. So it's a very rainy Bank of America Stadium. Seattle lead Kansas City 7 3 at Arrowhead. And McCaffrey gets the first down. Picking up 9 yards first down. Because of the penalty, it's now at the Detroit 37 yard line. And that's another great catch, and that close to a first down, second and one they're calling it. it. Looks like it was going to be first down, but it doesn't matter. Second and one at Detroit 28. It's Panthers ball. Houston lead Tennessee 10 to nothing in Nashville. Oh, this is big. Nope, throws it away. But it was good pressure this time by the defense. Third and one. That's a catch, that's a first down. It's a first and ten at the Detroit 24. So it's a close one at the moment. Just had five minutes to go to the second quarter. No ball! Early break up, so no touchdown. He says, no touchdown for you. So Christmas Eve football and Fox. It's Fox NFL Sunday. Oh no, it's Saturday NFL. Christian McCaffrey gets taken down. Losing six yards on that play. God damn, that was crap play. But great defense by the Detroit Lions. Burn 16. But the Panthers are still within field goal range. And there's no catch, that's way out of bounds, so 4 from 16, so they're going to go for the field goal. Atlanta lead Baltimore 7-0, can you believe it? Go, 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 go. 
and a kick is left, but it holds on, so scores are leveled. Gonzalez with the, the field goal. And we're tied at three apiece. Also, we need to go. Protecting the ball as well. Doing a great damn job. That's at the 32 as well. It's a great return by the Detroit Lions. DeAndre Swift. 55 yards. It's 5 yards per carry. 11 rushes. No touchdown, but Detroit do have a field goal. So scores a little. 4 to at Bank of America Stadium. DeAndre Swift. It's about a couple yards, so not much luck there. I can't remember who got the... No, wait, no. Detroit had the ball first. That's so the Carolina Panthers. I think they get the ball back first. So the Panthers get the ball back first in the second half. And Swift gets five yards. Third and three. Detroit don't want to give the ball back until it's time. Three minutes to go. Third and three. It's 3-3 three, three as well. Chicago get a touchdown point after. And that's the first down for the Detroit Lions. Protect the ball. 13 yards on the play. That was a good decision. New York get a touchdown point after, which means they're tied up in Minneapolis. So 2 3 4 to go. It's right on the logo. Smack bang in the middle of the logo. So we'll have to run a play. So the shot clock goes down first. Yeah, I look very closely. Andre Swift doesn't get much as a two minute warning, second and seven at the Carolina Panthers 45 yard line. So 158 to go. It's an upset alert as well. Seattle retaking the lead, 14 to 10 at Arrowhead. Swift only gets a couple yards in that play. The defense is actually pretty decent. Houston lead Tennessee 13 to 7. 350 to go in the second quarter of that game. Panthers fans quiet. But they're nervous. They stop Swift. 4 for 2. Going for a whopping 57 yarder. That is not a good idea. The best kick will probably just seem squeeze it through, but we're not confident. Gonna go for it. Go for a running play. This is their chance. They get the first down.
So that's a good decision. They ran through on fourth down. I got three fourth down conversions. Two of them win the first quarter. Second and seven. So the field goal is at 44, so it's much more manageable. This looks like a good kick. It's the end of the second quarter. How does it go? And it's good. The kick is good right on the buzzer. It's six to three at half time. So if both more teams want to give on Christmas Eve, 100 rushing yards for the Detroit Lions that game. So, Vikings and Giants, that looks like a good game so far. Baltimore hosting Atlanta. Baltimore should be crushing them, but you know what? Looks like a good game so far. So, the good decision to go for the running game for the Detroit Lions in the wet, in the rain. Okay, short pass. There we go. So the Carolina Panthers get the ball back first on Fox NFL Saturday. So one second left in the mini Elvis in the first half. Detroit lead by three points in this low scoring game at TI, I mean, Bank of America Stadium. It's at the 23 yard line, so that's right. Buffalo crushing Chicago 28 7. The Tulsa is left before half time as well. So they get the ball back first. So they are on offense first in the second half. Three play six. Detroit have 100 rushing yards. Carolina have nine. Mission McCaffrey gets stopped, so it's second and seven. Born in the seven in favor of the Saints over in Cleveland. Oh, here we go. Oh, that could have been an interception. Now, the Seahawks lead the Chiefs by eight points in our head, 21 13, early in the third quarter. And that's another in the completion, so yep. Yeah. Detroit getting more and more confident. Oh, he's better close that mouth. <laughs> Fourth and seven at the 26 yard line. They're going to 25, and that's good. That's that the 42 yard line. So great return by the Detroit Lions. So since they take they lead in Foxborough 14 nothing against the Patriots. So this will be Detroit's first position in the second half. So first and ten. A good position, but how long will it last? DeAndre Swift gets about four yards in that play. So Detroit just need to calm down. But they don't have to sell for another field goal. They want to get maximum points here. Meanwhile, the Texans lead the Titans in Nashville 20 to 14. How much does Swift get? Get a couple yards there. Less than six minutes to go in the third quarter. Third and four. Detroit start from good field position, but they are struggling on offense so far. 
It's a close one, too. Could Carolina do the unthinkable? And they also want to win to keep their season alive, not just to become the first team. Meanwhile, Detroit get a first down, a crucial first down for the Detroit Lions in the third quarter. Just over five and a half to go in this Christmas Eve clash on Fox NFL Saturday. After this, they got both teams have two more games for the rest of the season. They they travel to Chicago, no, they host Chicago, and then they travel to Lambeau Field to take on Green Bay. Five ten to go. It's three play six. It's Lions ball at the Panther forty six yard line. Oh, Swift! It looks good. Oh, the spin! That's bloody good. That is great. Look how much yardage. He didn't... Not like a huge amount, but he was great enough to get the first down. The Andre Swift one really well. Straight forward. No, he gets stopped. It's about five yards. He cuts it in half. There's some four minutes to go. The third quarter. Detroit by three points. Who would have seen this coming? Roger Swift, what is he doing? Staying where he is. You save three minutes to go. Sometimes you just gotta take the bold risks. I wanna get a bit closer to field goal. But also field goal won't do it. It will still only put them up by six. That's good! We're taking the ball. The gain's about 16 yards in that play. So a fresh set of downs. A big pick up by the Detroit Lions. So they've got three more chances to get to the end zone. Look how heavy that rain is. You control the football, you control the clock. There's just over two minutes to go in the third quarter on this Christmas Eve clash on Fox NFL Saturday. Detroit are already in the playoffs, they've clinched the wild cards, so. Who knows? First down, it doesn't get much there, just second and nine. At the 10 yard line. So second and nine, it's a priority alert as well. Minnesota get a field goal in Minneapolis, it's 24 21, 3 4 5 left in the third quarter of that game in Minneapolis. Andre Swift gets a few more yards, gets about five more yards on that play. Third and four. So this might be the last position of the third quarter. We are Tennessee lead Houston 28-20. So come from behind so far. Gotta get this. Just got the playoff in time. But no touchdown, which means they're going to have to go for the field goal. New York, their touchdown point after. They pulled the playoff, so they're up by six points with a whole quarter of the play. They could have waited. We've got a, the Fox NFL Saturday. On, it's now Minnesota just got one back. It's final, Detroit got a field goal at the final play of the third quarter. Detroit with the win now. Detroit lead by six points. They know an extra point will put Carolina in front. So they've got to be very careful. 
That 25, bong! <laughs> it just hit the ceiling or whatever it's called. So we've got first and ten. That's a great catch. It's a throw. It's on the first side on. Second, they're calling it second in inches. And Carolina getting screwed over by some calls. Second in inches. McCaffrey doesn't get the first down. In fact, he's losing a couple yards. And this time it's Detroit with the injury. Third and two. But Detroit did keep their three timeouts. So hopefully he recovers soon. It's been a while since they've had an injury. I've been lucky until this point. Third and two. One for three for the offensive third, third down. Sam Darnold with the ball. And that's a first down catch. Anderson, so a 15 yard catch. Donald and Anson, the former Jets. The injury risk is moving, but they're going to keep him on the field. So they're at the Char I mean, the Carolina 48. The Bills are crushing the Bears at Soldier Field. And that's a great catch. And what a big play. 30... Hang on, 21. 23 yards on that play. Well done. That's incredible stuff. So if they get a touchdown, that Detroit will really need to move it. Oh, they can't stick a tackle on McCaffrey. Meanwhile, Seattle lead Kansas City by two points. It's a close one. We're on a roll. So Detroit will need a lot of time on the clock if they want to get this moving. And that's a catch! Great catch, first down! Hold on to it's the first and goal at the two yard line. The Panthers, could they dream of an upset? Could they get the upsets? And that's a touchdown, nice as you like. So their scores are level. So you can get a crowd cheering, scores are level. An extra point will put them in the lead. They have a chance to go back on top. And they are in front! With 5.23 to go! Ho oh, ho! Could they take down the Lions? <laughs> 75 yards in some place, so Detroit really need to pull a rabbit out of the hat. Like they did before. And that is a good punt. They are at the 25-yard line, so both teams will be happy with that. Oh, oh this is close. One-point game. This is beautiful. So here we go. What can Detroit do? First down. Close to a first down. Second and one. Hundred fifty seven yards on the ground. Second and a yard. Goff keeps himself. He got two, so that's a first down, a fresh set of downs. There we go, less than four and a half to go. It's the Panthers. Yes, the Panthers lead by one point. He's protecting the ball. Swift on the roll. How many yards is that? 20 yards on that play. That is excellent. Woods with one tackle. I need to keep going. Four minutes to go. Actually, less than four minutes now. 
So what are they going to do? This is going to be interesting. Time management. Swift tries to go forward. Gets about seven yards on that play. It's an upset alert as well. New York get a touchdown point after. And Swift gets the first down. So here we go, out 30 yard line. This will be interesting. They don't want to give the ball back to Carolina or it's game over. And Swift gets stopped. Stays where he is. That will be a two minute warning. Here it is, the two minute warning. Also, the Giants lead the Vikings in Minneapolis by one point. Very high scoring game so far. So two minutes to go, it's at the Carolina 30 yard line. This will be interesting. They need to get close to the field goal range. He's protecting the ball. He goes down. It's at 16 yard line. Carolina don't call a timeout, interesting. Game number 14, first down for Detroit. The heavy rain, so they're well within field goal range, the Detroit Lions. This is a close one. A touchdown might win it, depending on how much time's left on the clock. Almost forgot to snap then. Roger Swift. I can I have a timeout. They've got to use a timeout. Ten plays nine. It's a first down. Is he in the end zone? Oh! One yard short, and also Minnesota the score as well. Oh my god. This one's gone right down to the wire. Oh my goodness. And he's in! So Detroit are up by five points now. So do they go for the two point conversion? They're in. So the touchdown could automatically win it for the Panthers. This is gonna be interesting. This could be it. They've got to go in. They've got to go in. And they've got their two-point conversion. So they're up by seven points. They failed last week, even when it didn't matter. But they got it this time. They clutch us up. It's really tempted to go for two. And they got it. So they're coming from behind. So one of four to go. This is interesting. So 104 to go. Caroline with just one timeout remaining. And they decide not to, to go for it. They decide to go for a touchback, which will save a lot of time. New Orleans leads Cleveland 21 7, 232 left of the game. Alright, please don't give me prevent defense, because I do not want prevent defense. Let's see. 104 to go. 10 play 17. This is a thriller. Bank of America Stadium. Oh, this is big! It's caught it! Huge play! 
It's a 15 second runoff. Can I do that? Oh, he's going the way. Oh, no one can catch it. Second and 10, 30 seconds to go. The Detroit 48 yard line. The field goal won't do it for the Panthers either. Oh, here we go. This is big. The snap. And no one can catch it. 26 seconds to go. Third and 10. Third and 10. It's at the Detroit 48 yard line. There are a couple of chances left. Donald with the ball. Oh, this is big. This is big. He's broken it up. That would have probably gone in for a touchdown. All right, it's the last one of the dice at the Detroit 48. 20 seconds to go. Four for 10. Panthers ball. Christmas Eve football with Fox. Here we go. The Reds coming down. Sam Donald with the ball. This is big. It's out of reach. It's no good. The Detroit Lions have won. And you know what's going to happen. So that will do it. Also, Minnesota Vikings have beaten the New York Giants by 5 points. 40 to 35 is the final scoreline. Forcing Carolina to use their final timeout. But it will not matter. Detroit defense have clutched out the Carolina Panthers. That was very close. They, they were excellent. And for the second week in a row, no, the second time in three weeks they could see double figures. Only the fourth week, fourth time all season they've conceded 10 points or more. But Merry Christmas. Also, the Titans have come from behind to beat the Houston Texans 35-23. But look at that. It's another final as well. Seattle have caused even more of the upset of the season, 37-26 in Arrowhead. And that is the game of that's GG's. Ho ho, Detroit winning a thriller. Christmas Eve thriller. Detroit 17, Carolina Panthers 10. That's 15 and 0 for the Detroit Lions. What an excellent game of football on Fox. Bank of America Stadium crowd must have been pleased with how they played, but it's heartbreak. Detroit took a gamble and it paid off. What a game. So Carolina hits Tampa to take on the Buccaneers. They're 6-9, the Panthers. So they'll finish the season below 500. So they, they needed... The Panthers needed to win this one, and they nearly claimed the big scalp. They made Detroit work for it. They came from behind, and they nearly won it. But Detroit getting that touchdown late and a two-point conversion as well, which would force the Panthers to go for the touchdown. But Detroit... But the Panthers didn't get the touchdown... Let's look at the scoring summary. Nil at the end of the first. Detroit led 6-3 at the end of the second. And it was 9-3. And then Carolina get a touchdown a point after to lead 10-9. And then Detroit got a touchdown. And then the two-point conversion to get it. To win by 7 points. 17-10 the final score on Christmas Eve. Merry Christmas. It's Fox NFL. What a game. Massive props to the Carolina Panthers for not giving up. The sun's starting to go down now. It's cloudy, it's dark, but it should be good. Let's see. Let's see the schedule. Week 16, so we know Baltimore took down Atlanta 28 21. Detroit beat Carolina 17 to 10. The Buffalo crushed Chicago 35 7. New Orleans beat Cleveland 21 7. We know about the upset. That was really, really bloody impressive. Minnesota took down the Giants 40 to 35. Now, Cincinnati came from behind. Look, big fourth quarter by both teams. Cincinnati beat New England by three points. Bloody good game. 
the Patriots somehow managed to cause two big upsets on the road, yet couldn't win at home against Cincinnati. But Cincinnati aren't really a bad team. Tennessee beat Houston by 12 points. Washington beat San Francisco 27-17. Dallas beat Philadelphia 38-17. And look at that. The Raiders, they beat the Pittsburgh Steelers an extra time. 26-20. to And the Rams lose again, this time at home, but also in one of the games of the season. 34-31 at SoFi Stadium. Green Bay beat Miami 24-17. Tampa Bay beat Arizona 31-24. And Los Angeles Chargers take down the Colts 28-21. Another seven-point matches. Now, before we finish up here... Yeah, playoff picture. So yeah, this is the current seeding. Chargers and Lions are number one again. So the Rams will host the Commanders. The Eagles will host the Cowboys. The Saints will host the Packers. The Ravens. Look at this. The Ravens hosting the Bills. It's changed again. So the Colts and the Chiefs are out. If the playoffs arrive today. So the, the Ravens and Bills, Jets and Bengals, and the Titans and the Broncos. So this is interesting. God damn, this was a good round. I tell you what, it's freaking good. Detroit zero and the fifteen and zero. Chargers doing pretty well too. And for the Battle of LA. Yes, okay, so we've got a couple of. And look at Green Bay, two and three. You cannot discount the Packers. The Ravens are 11 4. This is pretty damn good. It's Badger from Oz. Take care, everyone. I hope to see you on the next video. Bye for now. 15 and 0. Let's go.